fire experts say this weekend was an unexpected preview of fire season after wildfires claimed more than 400 acres and counting. Good evening, I'm Brady Smith. And I'm Brian Richardson. Some fires are still burning around the state, but things appear to be under control here in the Willamette Valley. KEZI 9 News reporter Lauren Michler is live in the studio with our top story at 6. Lauren? Brian and Brandy, call after call came into local fire dispatchers from Saturday morning on. Residents reporting trees down, power lines sparking, burn piles with minds of their own. All factors that contributed to dozens of fires, small and big, raging in the Willamette Valley over the weekend. Local fire districts didn't anticipate just how busy they would be this weekend. All of the districts were involved in fires that I'm aware of this weekend. I don't know anybody that was not that didn't have some type of fire. But not just any fires, mainly wildfires. In May, much earlier than we usually see this kind of activity. Uh, the humidity's down, the heat's up a little earlier than usual, so we're seeing fires earlier this year. Since it's still technically pre-season, the Oregon Department of Forestry was severely understaffed when fires broke out this weekend. The South Cascade District having only five full-time employees to rely on. A majority of my fire staff is their college students, and so they're still in school. Regardless, ODF had to work with what it had in combination with rural fire districts, manning small fires and three larger fires in our area. Blazes burned 10 acres near Tokatee Golf Course, 14 acres near Cottage Grove Lake, and 20 acres just off Jasper Lowell Road. Two of those three started from backyard burning. As you look and you think, okay, it's May, it's still safe, it's still wet enough, but in fact, if you can get it to burn, uh, then it's dry enough. With the wind and dry weather, that's exactly what happened this weekend for both little and big fires, which is why experts put a ban in place Saturday and they don't anticipate lifting it anytime soon. I would not anticipate, I guess, open that up unless we get a monsoon or something that comes through because it's going to stay dry. It might rain for a little bit, but it's not going to penetrate deep into the, the dry portions of the wood. So if you have a brush pile ready, plan to cover it up and let it sit until fall. Now, most fires in our area are currently contained. We can try and keep it that way by keeping away from all open burning through the end of fire season. In the studio, Lauren Michler, KEZI 9 News.